everyone, I'm Steph from Women in Sneakers and we've teamed up with Size to bring you shop floor stories. With sneaker culture becoming ever more digitised and social media taking over, we wanted to take it back to where culture and community started, and that's the shop floor. I'll be visiting various size stores across the UK and chatting with women that are on the front line. First stop, Carnaby Street. Hi everyone, I'm Steph from Women in Sneakers and I'm at Size Carnaby Street and I'm with Maria, Kelsey and Taylor. Welcome. For those that don't know you, who are you and what do you do? Um, I'm Taylor, um, I'm a visual merchandiser for Size. I've been with Size for nearly five years now. I did styling at uni and I kind of incorporate that with my job every day. Amazing. I'm Kelsey, um, I work in footwear in Size Carnaby Street. I've been here since last year and um, just been into shoes since before I could walk really. I'm Maria, sales assistant at Carnaby Street. <laughs> I'm a bit of an addy head because I grew up doing like a lot of athletics and they have like the best OG silhouettes for sports in my opinion, so yeah. So Carnaby Street is at the heart of London. How does it feel to be mm. at the, the forefront of sneaker culture? Um, I personally feel really privileged working at the heart of London because you get to witness so many like unique styles from all over the world and it's just, it's amazing to see you because you don't get to see that every day, you know? Yeah, nice. <laughs> I feel like it's quite eye-opening as well. Like working here, I've realised there's so many different types of people that are into sneakers. <clears throat> like you'll see people my age or you'll see like young kids come in or you'll see like men that are like in their 50s that are wearing like a plain a plain fit and the same pair of shoes every time you come in here but you know them you speak to them you know yeah. they've got like 300 shoe boxes in their house which is it's pretty sick yeah you definitely know when you're in the flagship store and like you say the customers that come in you build that relationship with them and then you can see them in other stores and they queue out for releases it really like builds like that community feeling nice. what does being a londoner mean to you Tube delays. I mean, I'm not, I'm not from London, so it's definitely an adjustment. And slow walkers for me really irritate me. But like, there's always something to do in London, and it's just like you can tell it's like the hub of the country. Like, there's something iconic about being in London. Amazing. Yeah, it's always yeah. As you said, there's always something to do. I feel like it's just very fast-paced when I get here. There's always yeah. There's always something going on, and. Yeah, it's just, it's very fast speed. Everybody that's here every day, they have their routine. They know where they want to go and like what shops they're going to hit before they get to work and stuff. It's just very, very fast speed to be in here every day. Uh, for me, being a Londoner is a big part of my personality. It's the way I talk, it's the way I dress, it's the way I live my life. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> Londoner through and through. Yes, it's in my blood. <laughs> What's your staple pair of non-hype kicks? Air Max 95s for me. Like yeah. I've got them on today. Probably any time you randomly catch me, I'll have 95s on. Nice. Like it just goes back to like my dad always had 95s when I was a kid, and it was like one of the first silhouettes I actually bought. So most of my connection is literally 95s. Amazing! I love a 95. How about you? Uh, it's probably superstars for me. I remember being like 12 and being in the US and going shopping and buying like just the standard black and white pair of like the gold detailing. But even my favorite pair of shoes now is my Bape superstars. They're really beat, but it's just, it's one of those shoes that it's been around for since before I was even born. And it's just, it's, it's timeless. So. Yeah. For me, it's the Speziales because I've got a version of them on right now. They're just, they're just such a classic shoe for me. Like I can, I can dress them up, I can dress them down, I can wear them at home, I can, you know, I, d I don't know. They're just, I just wear them every day. I love them so much. Good. So yeah, let's actually talk about like why we're here a little bit. Why is representation important to you? Um, I feel like in the sneaker industry, in a lot of, in everything in life, but specifically in the sneaker industry, it's very male dominated. Even like when women's only releases will drop, I always see like men in the comments like, where's the men's ones? And I'm like, most of the shoes that come out are for you. But I just feel like there's a certain way, even in 2022, there's a certain way that people want women to dress. It's more on the feminine side. And I feel like women in sneakers and women being able to be sneakerheads and, and wear shoes that are more boyish or, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's, it's, 
it's important for women to understand that you can wear what you want to wear, Absolutely. especially in the sneaker game. Like I have friends that that parents will be like to them, oh, why do you have so many trainers and whatever? Like dress like a girl, yeah. which is it's, it's ridiculous. Like if you want to yeah. wear trainers, if you want to wear sneakers, wear sneakers. Absolutely, mm. I agree with you. 100% it's like one of those things that like if you're a girl and you've got loads of sneakers they just like people just find it weird because it's such yeah. like a male dominated thing mm -hmm. but even like bringing it back to size if you look at every size exclusive footwear release there's been it's always inclusive of women's sizes yeah. it gets the full size run and I think that's something that really needs to be like incorporated in like every sneaker release because it's just not fair yeah like, I want my trainers as well yeah for sure I mean literally this week alone like we obviously had the the latest Travis Scott drop and that didn't come in women's sizes yeah. and I think you know that's that's quite crazy and I do agree with you size always do kind of cater across the board when it comes to to their collaborations and stuff so I think they're definitely making moves there so let's talk a little bit more about size how does size support you um, I definitely think it's the people that I actually work with like I don't feel I never feel like isolated here I always feel like there's something to talk about because a lot of us share the same interests, which is one of the reasons why we're here as as well as to make money. And, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just like an amazing community to be to be in and to be a part of. Amazing. I definitely agree with you, like the people and like the community it builds, like you definitely kind of feel like you're part of a family yeah. and that it's like a business that does actually care about you and your well-being. Yeah. Like I have a lot of stuff to thank size for in my life, like my progression. And I think they're really inclusive of making you feel like you don't just have to be a sales assistant forever. You can like pursue your own goals within yeah. size. Amazing. Taking it back to women, what women are dominating the sneaker scene for you? Uh, for me personally, Snow Allegra. I feel like she's one of those people where if you weren't like a real, like a true fan or somebody that's like following her, you wouldn't even know. But she has like a lot of, like on so many gems in her wardrobe. I actually had the pleasure of meeting her. When I met her, she had on Amazing. like the green Supreme Dunks, nice. which was crazy, but she's got like, the cactus plant um, flea market Air Force Ones that say Air Flea on the side. She has a custom pair that says Air Snow, which is just blew my mind yeah, when I saw them. <laughs> so one of one. But yeah, that's her wardrobe in general. Like if you if you're peeping it, she has like so many like staple pieces that you won't be able to find. It's pretty impressive. Incredible. How about you? Um, I don't really follow influencers anymore because. I just think it's, for me personally, it's just a bit of a toxic environment. But mm -hmm. I, I honestly feel like all women are dominating everything. Like, we're so talented and smart and like, we're a part of an amazing community when it comes Ooh. to sneakers. <laughs> yes, we love to see it. <laughs> I think that's such an interesting kind of like perspective as well. Like I think, you know, with social media kind of really influencing the sneaker culture, actually it's refreshing to have kind yeah. of like that perspective and to be inspired by the, the women and people around you. Yeah, just your everyday, everyday women, like they don't have to be someone famous or someone with a lot of money, like, Adidas trainers are so affordable and they're part of the sneaker culture as well, like, yeah. and they're so nice. Yes. <laughs> so, work within the sneaker industry, there are obviously lots of challenges from size ranges to representation, but what are the challenges that you guys face in the sneaker industry? Getting my size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so simple, but like you say, like with the cactus release, like, it, I can't literally get my size I can't even apply for the chance to buy it yeah. so it's just very frustrating especially when you work in a company you're just like I want that shoe so bad but you can't get it yeah it is just really frustrating yeah for sure one thing as well for me is like self-control because I'm seeing a lot of shoes come in and out of here every day and it's like the urge to buy every single one is mm. very strong so it's working in this environment and seeing like all the drops and not just here but just being in central London and like knowing where all the drops are happening but especially in, in size being here every day it's yeah. the self-control is very hard <laughs> and I'm trying not to bring home very tempting size, yeah. <laughs> every I'm day I'm trying not to bring home a size bag too often because my mum will, will roast me <laughs> but it's, it's hard okay yeah let's take it back to women what does female empowerment look like to you yeah 
Um, for me, it's all about self-love, self-appreciation, like, do what you want to do. Like, if you want to wear baggy clothes, wear baggy clothes. If you want to wear mini skirts, wear mini skirts. Like, don't put yourself in a box. Like, just do what you want to do and be happy. Yes. 100% I'd agree. Like, just wear what you want. Like, love yourself and your friends and support your friends. Like, even Ella, who works here, she's one of the supervisors. She did custom nails for me. Amazing. Just for this and, like, just supporting that. Oh, I love and that. Just... <laughs> She's so talented, so it's just like to even show her off on like a platform like this as well, just supporting and shouting yeah. out your friends when they're like so talented is, yeah. I think, something that's really important. Amazing. That's all good. Amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Like, I definitely agree that, um, you know, championing the people that are around you, that are surrounded, that you're surrounded by on a day to day basis as well, and just kind of like li lifting them up and making sure that, yeah, you mention their name in rooms and stuff like that. I think that's super important. So. Let's bring it on to the focus of you. Obviously, I think it's really important that you celebrate who you are as a person. How do you guys celebrate yourself and your achievements? Buy more sneakers, <laughs> buy more clothes. Literally. Land my collection. Yes. Yeah. Literally, Literally, it's the main thing. And drink some soju, because, <laughs> yeah. Amazing. It's nice to like, after work, be able to go out with the people that you work with, because working here, I've realized that it's more, then having colleagues that you actually make friends being in this community and being in this like workplace every day so yeah it's nice like after a long day or a hard day to be able to like go out with people that you get along with and just get a drink yeah <laughs> amazing and finally what does the future of footwear look like to you guys I would say a lot more like designer collabs, like what you're wearing, what I'm wearing. I think yeah. it gives like everyday people that little like taste of luxury and designer. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily affordable, but it's a lot more affordable than the other stuff that, you know, brands like that put out. So it's, I, I would say just more customizations as well as designer collaborations. Yeah, I totally agree. I think like Having something the, unique to you. Yeah, for sure. I think yeah, customization and I think actually luxury brands collaborating with your with your sneaker brands it does give that accessibility whereas, you know, usually you wouldn't I wouldn't usually go for like a Dior shoe or whatever, but actually if they can make it affordable. I mean, I don't think that shoe was affordable. So, but There's you know still what that I mean? price it's, point it's, yeah, yeah, it's questionable. But I think like it gives you an opportunity to have access to that and I think like luxury and, and streetwear are going to continue to kind of collide over the next few years. Another thing I will say in terms of like the future of, of streetwear and the future of sneakers, the same silhouettes keep coming back, which is nice to see. Like the amount of times I've bought a shoe or I've seen a shoe on the shelf, and my mum would be like, oh, I used to have this when you were a baby or you used to have this when you're, it's nice and it, it does happen. That's what happens. Like I'll speak to customers that will come in here and see a shoe and like tell me a story. Of, oh, I used to have this when I was like 16. It's nice that the same, obviously there's a lot of new stuff that's being pushed out, a lot of crazy silhouettes and a lot of like more futuristic silhouettes, but it is nice to see like the same shoes coming back like the Air Max one being pushed this year like we haven't been seeing Air Max one for a while but the same the same shoes and the same silhouettes keep coming back which is, is nice to see because we want the old stuff as well so. I definitely agree with Kelsey like I would love for more like OG silhouettes to come back especially in Adidas like there's some that <laughs> yes. have come back recently like say if like Bella Hadid has worn it like Sambas recently, they have been sold out everywhere, like you can't get them anywhere, I've, I've tried. <laughs> and even the like black superstars with the white stripes, like they're really hard to find as well. I know you have a pair, lucky. <laughs> but yeah, like Sorry. just, just o I just love like the OG silhouettes because they're just classics in it. Gives you another chance to get it as well, like re releasing yeah, yeah, yeah. the silver bullets. Yeah. Like you say, you get customers come and be like, I had them when they first came yeah. out, or I've still got them like dead stock box fresh in my <laughs> yeah. in my closet or something. Like put them on your feet there to be worn. But yeah. It gives you that chance to like get a taste of something like you say, like original. Things are like constantly going in and out of fashion. Like my first pair of fours I got about five, six years ago. And it's mad like any time that I wear them, people will be like, oh, how much did you pay me self? And I'm like, no, I got, they were sitting on the shelf, yeah. which you wouldn't see. And I bought yeah. them. People can't comprehend that anymore. As it should be. They were sitting, they were literally sitting on the shelf and you wouldn't see that with like a four, a Jordan four now, um, which is, yeah. So things hopefully keep coming back, the stuff that we want to see. Yeah.
Thank you so much guys for joining Shop Floor Stories. We've been here with the girls from Carnaby Street. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.